Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited and in this particular video we will learn one awesome trick about uh, how to do visual filtering. Normally we can do filters uh, by the help of uh, filters option or a feature which is available in the data tab and when you click on filters uh, it allows you to filter the exactly required uh, data which is which which you want and in that case Excel hides the irrelevant data and, and all and just uh, shows you the relevant filter data which you have selected from this drop down menu but what we are required in this situation is we we need to have a box here and uh, we need we will type a name uh, that can be any random name and uh, when we start typing that name Excel will automatically with the help of conditional formatting and a formula uh, it will highlight visually and it, it will looks like that it's filtering the data by highlighting that particular cell which the user will be typing in a search bar so uh, let's learn that how to create a visual filtering technique in Microsoft Excel with the help of a formula and conditional formatting uh, so first we need to do some initial working uh, we are required to have the developer tab in our Excel application if you don't find the developer tab by default you need to click on file tab go to options and click on customize ribbon and you need to check mark the developer tab so that it gets visible uh, within this application so once you have the developer tab uh, you need to go to controls group where you will find the insert icon click on that and in the active x controls you will have the second last option which is the text box okay so you need to uh, click on this uh, active x controls uh, text box and uh, when you click on that a small plus icon will appear on your spreadsheet and you need to drag and drop uh, according to the size you are required with the help of your mouse left key so once you have uh, created that object now you are required to do some settings um, by going into that properties of this text box uh, for doing that uh, it's very essential that uh, you have click on the design mode button in the developer tab so if you don't click on the design mode uh, you will not be able to go to this specific text box properties where you can do some customization regarding the font size and uh, linking with a blank cell with the spreadsheet so uh, make sure that you click on design mode and then you click the uh, that uh, particular text box and uh, right click on it you will find a contextual menu here and within this contextual menu click on properties so when you click on properties uh, the window will visible here and you need to make some changes according to your requirements the first thing is that you need to link this text box to a cell so in our case uh, now th there is a category that there, there is a field which is called the link cell here and we will uh, link the cell in our situation which is C3 so I will write C3 here uh, you don't need to put uh, the dollar sign or the absolute reference so just make it relative so I have written C3 here uh, if you want to uh, give it give this text box a, a back color you can uh, select any color from this uh, box and, and whichever you like for example uh, let me choose a light yellow color okay and uh, if you want to increase the font size or if you want to change the font uh, you can click on the font category here you will see a small three dots a small icon at the right side just click on that a font uh, dialog window will open here and you can increase and change the font whatever you like and press ok right and close this properties window so once you are done with the settings of this, this particular text box you again need to go to developer tab and uh, now disable this design mode by again clicking on the same icon so now see that whatever you will be typing here now wh when you click inside this text box a blinking cursor is now working fine here and let me just write any word here for example Raheem so whatever I am typing within this text box is now shown in the cell c3 because i have linked this particular text box uh, with my spreadsheet cell c3 right now the last uh, 
a step for this creating a visual filter is that whatever I write here within this text box uh, should get highlighted in these four lists okay so for doing that we will uh, use conditional formatting feature and we will write a formula here and I hope that uh, you you must have the idea of AND function and count if function uh, so that you can understand that the logic which I will be applying here uh, should be understandable by you and, and I will try my level best to explain it as well so first I will select the entire data set uh, excluding of uh, the titles because I need to apply conditional formatting only on the names rather than the titles so I have selected data from B7 till uh, the last cell which is B uh, that is E17 and now I will go to home tab where you will find the conditional formatting so I will open this menu and I will go to new rules because we because we have no default kind of rule uh, available so we need to use the last option which is use a formula to determine which cells to format and here we will write a formula so let me write uh, first a formula here and then I will explain it to you so I am using the AND function uh, which uh, generally consists of more than one logical test and then all the logical test must be true in order to make sure that the outcome should be visible uh, according to your statement so, so the logical one will be that uh, C3 which is the link cell uh, which, which is the link cell to the text box should not be blank should not be equals to blank because if I don't put this crit specific criteria to my this AND function so uh, all of the cells will get highlighted so the first scenario is first logical test is that uh, do not highlight uh, anything which is not being present in the cell not equals to blank okay and the, the next one would be I will be adding one more criteria and I, I am using the count if function so basically I am using another logical test logical test 2 within the AND function and I have nested the count if function and within the count if function uh, the first is the range and then the criteria so the range is starting from in our case the data is starting from B7 and make sure that you don't make B7 to the absolute uh, you, you need to make it relative so that every cell will be checked according to the criteria uh, the names we will be writing in the search bar so uh, make sure that B7 is, will come without dollar sign so it would be relative okay and then comma and now the criteria so I will be using uh, the static sign which means find all and this is also considered as a wild card so static means uh, find anything whatever on the left side or or any of the position uh, and I'm using the M percent sign which uh, has the concept of joining so uh, I say to the count if criteria that find and join with the cell C3 because I will be writing whatever in the text box will reflect in the C3 so whatever I will type in C3 M percent again static sign at the right side as well so whatever I type in C3 find anywhere within the cell either it's present in the left side mid position or the right side whatever uh, wherever it is present find that specific word which is which is present in the C3 and then the count will be definitely greater than zero so if this specific criteria meet so whatever we will be uh, setting in the format section will be definitely apply once our both these logical test gets true value at the back end so for example I would like to have cell to be highlighted as a yellow color and now see let's say if I write R A so Ramzan cell has highlighted because this cell uh, has R A on the left side Namra Javed is also highlighted because R A is in, on the center and Hassan Raza Kasbati uh, because RA is in the center as well so for example if I write uh, Shaquille so as you can see that uh, in the list A and the list B Shaquille is presented and also Muhammad Sharik Shaquille is also presented so what, whatever we type for example initial letters and uh, as soon as we write the entire spelling the Excel uh, does the visual filtering with the help of this formula and the conditional formatting right so 
let me type one more word omar right so this is how you can uh, create visual filters um, in, in your excel reports or any other kind of workbooks you want so i hope you like this technique and do apply and do share thank you so much